Master has commission has made the necessary for your comfort. The preparation is very good. I'm very happy, extremely happy, because this is my first time. And I prepare to follow the rules and regulations given to me. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. This is as you answer the call. I am Rashida Abu Bakari, your regular anchor, welcoming you to another edition of the program. The program will now be coming your way at this hour. This is due to the change in time belt from the usual 10 p.m. on Mondays. The change will last through the period of the general elections. Now to the program. In few weeks to come, the National Heart Commission of Nigeria, NACON, is expected to unveil the Heart Institute of Nigeria for the commencement of academic programs. What and for whom is the Heart Institute all about? What preparations have been made so far towards activating the Institute? We have answers to these and other questions in our Spotlight segment. Still on the program, we have other regular segments such as NACON News Diary and Making the Heart. Also, a winner has emerged for last week's quiz. Is it you? Find that out in the course of the program. Don't go away. Lessons learned from this year are meant to serve as an experience to make it better next year. We already started the strategy and the plan for next year's Hajj. We know that Allah is willing it will be much more better than the experience that has just ended. Welcome back and thank you for staying with us. The program kicks off with the news diary. Stay with us. <laughs> As officials of the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, NACON, and their study tour of Indonesia, head of the delegation and NACON Commissioner of Policy Personnel Management, al Haji Nura Hassan Yakasai, said their experience while there will help the commission in Hajj management. The commissioner stated this while answering questions as a guest on a TV program in Indonesia shortly before their departure back to Nigeria. The study to actually uh, is very rich, rich in the sense that uh, we have been exposed to many things, which we think that also it will help us in managing our health savings scheme back to Nigeria. We have been exposed to how the fund actually operates, the relationship between BVKH and the Muamalat Bank mm -hmm. and the, the other banks, and the, how the uh, uh, BKH also organized and registered that one is done by the Ministry of uh, Religious Affairs. Yeah, we have seen that one. And also in terms of the people that you normally serve, that is those that are going to hunt. Most of them, they are from rural areas. Most of uh, who judge from Nigeria, yeah. they are also from rural areas. So we believe that uh, the information we got from this tour is going to help us a lot. The commissioner further sheds more light on how NACON goes about discharging its responsibilities, among other issues. What is the role of the central bank in, for the NACON? Yes, you know that uh, the role of the central bank, that is why we have the a representative, just one that is with us yes, here, yeah. uh, is that uh, you know that uh, most of our uh, hajj operation is done in dollars, mm. that we will transfer money to Saudi Arabia, from there to convert it to real. So we make sure that at least we have a member from the central bank who will make sure that at least he assisted. That's why we need the money to be transferred outside to Saudi Arabia for Hajj, so that at least we use this to pay for services, accommodation, transportation, and all those things. 
Alhaji Nur Ayakasai appreciated the Indonesian authority for their support throughout the study tour. Chairman of the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, Nakon, Alhaj Zikrullah Kunle Hassan, has been honored with an award of excellence in recognition of his performance during the 2022 Hajj. Nakon Commissioner of Planning Research Information Statistics Library Services, Sheikh Suleiman Momo, received the award on behalf of the chairman. The award was presented by the International Council for Honoring the Two Holy Mosques in partnership with the Union of Nigerian Students in Saudi Arabia. The event took place recently at Transcop Hilton Hotel Abuja. By a, a collaborative effort. The commissioner said the award has spurred NACON to do more in carrying out its responsibilities. Uh, our hope was now rekindled, you know, confidence restored. Who knew that we are valued? The people who knew what we did, who did the right assessment independently, I came out to say, no, you deserve an award. And then they give us the award. Honestly, we are so happy. Sheikh Suleiman Momo advised Nakon staff to be more committed in the discharge of their duties. I want to advise that we should try as much as possible to be patient. We should try as much as possible to put in adequate dedication to any duty assigned to us. <laughs> Adamawa State Pilgrims Welfare Commission has compensated those who built houses on the land which the state Hajj camp is being constructed. After a three-day screening exercise, a committee comprising of Adamawa State officials, representative of Nakon among others, identified 22 legitimate climates and were presented with checks as compensation. The exercise took place on Friday, the 14th of October, 2022, at the headquarters of the commission in Yola. While presenting the checks, Executive Secretary of the Pilgrims Welfare Commission, Malan Salihu Abubakar, commended Governor Ahmed Fintiri for his intervention in settling the matter, which he said has lingered for over a decade. He also appreciated beneficiaries for their patience and understanding. It is on the land which is adjacent to Yola International Airport that the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, Nakon, is constructing pilgrims' accommodation a mosque and a conference hall under the Hajj development levy. However, years of encroachment has stalled work on the land. Alhamdulillah, you are still watching as you answer the call a public enlightenment presentation that keeps you abreast of the activities of the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, NACON, and other Hajj-related matters. All things being equal, the Hajj Institute of Nigeria will come on stream by the end of this year. The National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, NACON, and other stakeholders are leaving nothing to chance to ensure a successful takeoff. For more about the Hajj Institute and arrangement being made to kickstart academic proceedings, stay tuned for the next segment. Spotlight. Professionalizing the Hajj industry is one of the priorities of the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, NAKAN. And so, establishing the Hajj Institute of Nigeria has been part of the vision of the Commission, and the goal is to produce professional and skilled Hajj managers that will provide service to pilgrims in line with global best practices. With all arrangements put in place, NAKAN is perfecting plans to launch the Hajj Institute. We have the registration with all the agencies uh, res uh, uh, responsible. Uh, we have all the requirements that need to be uh, need to be available for such an institute to to operate. And now we are just on the finishing touches for us to commence the admission 
for the students that will be uh, pioneer uh, students of the institute. But in doing so, we have secured uh, already the, permi the permission of the Ministry of Hajj uh, leadership uh, to attend the occasion. We are also expecting a very important Hajj mission in the world. Indonesia has the largest delegation of Muslims in the Holy Land every year. We are also expecting their leadership, we are expecting Malaysia. So, in doing this, of course, we are expecting our principal to be part of the Lamin, the federal government of Nigeria, Mr. President. Uh, but when this school is finally open, uh, all of us here are going to be an enrollee. I will also be a student. Uh, we are going to use it to demonstrate that there is nobody who knows it all. All of us will go through it. The end will be for us to say that if you want to enter the industry, you must also have a minimum knowledge about it, and that's what the institute is all about. It will interest you to note that we are going to be the first in the world to have this kind of institute. And what we intend to do is to be at least resource organization for all Hajj mission who are English speaking in the world. As a prelude to the commissioner of the Hajj Institute, the chairman of the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, Nakan, Al Haji Zikon Laukule Hassan, recently set up a committee charged with the responsibility of drawing up plans for the unveiling of the institute this year. Nakan Commissioner of Policy, Personnel Management and Finance, Al Haji Nur Hassan Yakase, chairs the committee which has since swung into action. <laughs> this is the temporary site of the Hatch Institute of Nigeria, located within the premises of the Hatch House. We have even uh, developed the temporary site for the Institute, furnished with some personnel already deployed there, and uh, we are also in the process of employing uh, those that cannot be provided from within the organization. And uh, very soon, inshallah, before the are runs out, this institute uh, is going to take off. Uh, it is going to take off in a temporary site uh, with limited facilities. But uh, we are envisaging that uh, with time it will uh, be gradually improved and the programs expanded. The Hatch Institute was conceived and licensed to offer certificate and diploma courses only. The institute will be is 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 approved to to be diploma approving uh, uh, courses. So, up to diploma courses, the institute will be handling. Uh, inshallah. So, but uh, we are going in phases. We start with the certificates courses. Uh, and then in the diploma, I want to tell you as we begin to um, uh, to teach or as, as the program commences, uh, uh, many innovations will be there. And uh, inshallah, many benefits to the communities will also be there. Plants are also underway to enroll students into the Hatch Institute. Nakan is expected to come up with detailed information on modalities for registration. We need to identify the first set of the, the pioneer students should be special, should be special people also maybe special in the sense, special in the uh, Hajj industry. And if this is what we are trying to finalize before we let the, we let the information out. Uh, this, inshallah, in the coming days, not just, not weeks, in the coming days, it will be finalized to decide which category are we going to start uh, with and then uh, from there uh, details will be announced to everybody. Similarly, the Commission is working harmoniously with relevant stakeholders within and outside Nigeria to ensure the success of the Hajj Institute. Of course, when we talk of uh, Hajj 
administration. For example, in Nigeria, you see, apart from the commission, the government, uh, relevant government agencies, the states, eh, the various states, pilgrims, welfare boards, are the major uh, stakeholders, uh, which we have to sit with them also and discuss, even though it has been discussed severally, but now we have to fine tune along uh, together and so on and so forth. So these are uh, major stakeholders, uh, relevant government agencies, uh, state pilgrims welfare boards are very, very uh, key in, the, in achieving or in uh, toward the success of uh, uh, Hajj Institute. Consultations have also been made with Saudi Ministry of Hajj and Umrah on areas of collaboration for a successful takeoff of the institute. This is a specialized uh, area. Uh, that is why we are consulting widely. We had some discussions with the ministry, with the minister of Hajj uh, during the last um, Hajj exercise and uh, many other relevant uh, stakeholders in the Saudi about the institute and how we'll put heads together to, uh, to have a befitting uh, institute like, uh, like that. When the Hajj Institute of Nigeria comes on stream, it is expected to commence with the following programs, hospitality and tourism and vocational certificate in computer studies and many more. Globally, Hatch management is undergoing a series of reforms and changes in areas such as visa processing, accommodation and feeding, transportation, pilgrims education, and other logistics. Lessons learned from this year are meant to serve as an experience to make it better next year. We already started the strategy and the plan for next year's Hajj, we know that Allah's willing, it will be much more better than the experience that has just ended. Masha Allah, the program is as you answer the call. Coming up next is making the Hajj. Imam Sharafuddin Aliaga continues discussion on Umrah rights. Let's hear him. Labbaik, labbaik, Allahumma labbaik, 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 Allahumma labbaik. On making the Hajj tonight, Imam Sharafuddin Ali Agan continues discussions about the Umrah and the rights associated with it. A umrah is also attached with what we call Mekat, designated area for anyone who wishes to perform Umrah. We, but we call the one that perform a pilgrimage as al Haju, and the one that perform Umrah we call him Oha Mu'tamiru or Mu'tamira. So now, if one is performing uh, Umrah, you are coming from Medina, you know your Miqat. So if you are going to perform, if you are going to perform Umrah, you are, you are in you are in Mecca, you go to Masjid Aisha, where you go and observe your ihram, take the necessary guslu after the intention. The, uh, and then the ritual bath, then you put on your ihram with the intention of performing Umrah. Then from there you move straight to Haram, Haram al Makki. While at Haram, pilgrims are to perform tawaf in Sa'i or the work between Safa and Marwa. So when you get to uh, uh, Haram, you go straight for tawaf. Go straight for tawaf. So you observe that tawaf as usual, as we all know, seven times. So when you conclude the circumambulation of the Kaaba that is called Tawaf, you move from, now you have started performing Umrah, you move from that Kaaba, that ha Haram, straight to Sa'i. So that is where you are going to go and perform Sa'i, that is to ambulate between Sofa and Marwa. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in Quran 2 verse 158 that's Surah Al-Baqarah Bismillah rahman rahim Inna sofa wal marwata min sha'airullah 
فمن حج البيت أو اعتمر فلا جناح عليه أن يتوف بهما ومن تطوى خيرا فإن الله شاكر عليم. How is Safa and Marwa performed? And because Allah kick-started the discussion of Hajj and Umrah with Safa, you are asked to start your activity of Sa'i from Safa. So the same way you perform it during Hajj, it is the same way you perform it during Umrah. You move from Safa to Marwa, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is how it is usually performed. So you perform your side with necessary renditions of prayers or uh, prayer books, whichever you are, you, you choose to observe. Then after this, then you will uh, drink Zamzam. You either drink Zamzam immediately after Tawaf or you drink Zamzam immediately after Sa, you may not suffer while Marwa, then you now bab your hair. You either remove it all, you either do halku or kosru. Halku is to remove everything. Kosru is to cut it down. So when you are done with cutting down your hair, that marks the end of Umrah. Imam Ali Agan says performing Umrah in Ramadan attracts rewards as that of Hajj, adding that the Umrah generally has some lessons embedded in its performance. The three reasons why we perform Umrah Number one, to refresh our faith. To refresh our faith. When you perform Umrah, you, you feel very fresh in terms of your faith. It's like, it's like renewing your faith. Number two, to seek for Allah's forgiveness. The third one is also to ask Allah for our needs. It's an opportunity. These are the three major purposes why we perform Umrah. <laughs> لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك الحمد لله now it's time to know the winner of last week's quiz and the question for this week good luck لبيك لبيك اللهم لبيك welcome to the quiz segment the question in the last episode was Name the place where Jabal Rahman is located. The correct answer is, it is located on the plains of Arafat. The winner is Hadiza Shir Husuba from Kadun Estate. She provided the answer ahead of others. Hadiza Shir Husuba will be contacted on how Nakon will reach her with the prize she won. A quiz winner will get 25,000 Naira cash prize. This is part of Nakon effort in social investment in Nigeria. Now to the quiz for this week and the question is, what did the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam do at the hill of Jabal Rahman during his farewell Hajj? Again, what did the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam do at the hill of Jabal Rahman during his farewell Hajj? Text your answer to the number showing on your screen. The winner will be the first person whose correct answer is received. All answers should carry the name and location of sender. Good luck and happy viewing. Once again, good luck to you. Up next are your messages. Umar al Ali from Adama State sent the first message. It contains this appreciation to Nakon. Assalamu alaikum Nakon. We are highly delighted with the way the commission is educating the Muslim Ummah about the virtues and obligations of Hajj. May Allah bless Nakon. Hajj Abil Kusubambale from Kaduna State sent in the second message. It says, I congratulate Kaduna State Pilgrims Welfare Agency for its early preparation for the 2023 Hajj. Viewers seeking clarification or have questions to ask on any matter relating to Hajj or Umrah management and operations can do so through this program. Relevant officers will be contacted to respond appropriately. We also welcome your messages, comments, observations and questions through our mobile phone number and other social media platforms. Thank you for watching. لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا